Codes are a collection of regulations, ordinances, and other statutory requirements put together by various organizations. Each jurisdiction decides which codes it will follow and enforce. Once certain codes are adopted, they become law within that jurisdiction. The International Code Council ICC, produces a complete set of codes known as the International Codes or I-Codes for short. Many of the I-Codes are used throughout the United States and in other countries. The interior-related ICC code publications have been listed in Figure 1.1. These are the codes that will be discussed throughout the International Building Codes and More course series. More recently, the National Fire Protection Association NFPA, broaden the scope of codes that it develops. In the past, NFPA concentrated on developing standards as well as a few codes, such as the Life Safety Code and the National Electrical Code. Now it has a complete set of codes, some of which were created in collaboration with other industry organizations. This series of codes is called the Comprehensive Consensus Codes, or C3 Codes for short. Currently, the NFPA's collaboration partners include the International Association of Plumbing and Mechanical Officials, IAPMO, the Western Fire Chiefs Association, WFCA, and the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers, ASHRAE. Several of the NFPA codes are summarized in Figure 1.1, although many of the newer ones have not yet been widely adopted. The ICC and NFPA codes are organized differently. Most of the I codes are organized using the common code format. The code is arranged by chapters that address various aspects of a building and include specific requirements for each occupancy or building type. The C3 codes use the Manual of Style, where there are several key chapters at the beginning and end of the code and the rest of the chapters are divided by occupancy type. The occupancy chapters allow the code review to start in the chapter that pertains to the project's occupancy type, which then indicates when to reference other chapters. In the past, the legacy codes catered to certain regions of the country. The current model codes by the ICC and NFPA now take into account the many regional differences found throughout the United States. For example, certain coastal states need more restrictive seismic building code provisions to allow for the many earthquakes in those areas, and the northern states need codes to allow for long periods of below freezing temperatures. All these various requirements are now in the current building codes. In some cases, a code jurisdiction will add amendments to the code they adopt to create requirements unique to their area. There are a few states and cities that continue to maintain their own set of codes. However, even the differences between these customized codes are becoming less obvious as more jurisdictions are working closely with the code organizations. For example, Many states, and some cities, are working with the ICC to revise the International Building Code, IBC, as required for their state. The ICC then reprints the code specifically for that state as a customized code. For instance, the state of California and the city of New York maintained their own set of codes until recently. Both now use codes based on the I-codes. Some jurisdictions have a complete set of unique codes, while others may just have one or two special code publications and use one of the available codes for everything else. Most codes are updated on a three-year cycle, but each jurisdiction has its own schedule of reviewing and adopting the new codes. Not only is it extremely important to know which codes and standards apply to a project, it is also important to know the addition. Each of the codes produced by the ICC and NFPA, as they pertain to interior projects, is described in this section. The various standards are described later in this course. 
be sure to contact the local jurisdiction to obtain a list of the approved code publications and any other special requirements or addendums. Go to both the ICC website and the NFPA website to learn about the latest code adoptions.